Okay, in this video I wanted to show you a little trick I used to put three images on a row in a rich text element in Webflow. Uh, I'm not a very big fan of uh, rich text elements in Webflow because you have to treat them very different uh, from the other elements. And yeah, it's, it's not a fine solution. I think Webflow should consider uh, looking for some other solutions uh, than the rich text element I'm well, okay maybe you find them uh, uh, nice to work with but uh, I don't like them very much uh, okay and uh, I ran into this problem because I want in this uh, blog post I wanted to have three images beside each other and it's a little bit tricky in uh, the rich text element because you can't style it uh, responsively. Uh, here I have you, you see the three images of the logos and uh, when I look in my navigator this whole block is what it is. I can style it a little bit in the, in the width and so on but that's it. If I want to style this uh, images here you can't. You have to do this in your CMS, and your CMS is uh, not built to uh, make things responsive. So, uh, it took me a little while to figure this out, and maybe you can use it also. So, I uh, open it in my CMS, then you see here the rich text elements. Uh, that I use here and uh, what did I do I have these three images and I floated them all to the left and that's fine that works how I uh, how do you uh, how I wanted it to work but then when I uh, looked at my page at uh, phone and on my iPad I saw this text coming up next to this images because the last one is floated so the text floats up and there is a very easy <laughs> and old uh, solution to this problem is to make the first element that comes after the image to clear this you can float elements and you can clear elements so uh, this uh, element won't show up next to this because it's cleared but you can't clear it in the rich text elements editor that's why I don't like this uh, rich text uh, elements so I have to go back to my uh, style sheet where I uh, do the makeup of makeup do the, the styling for uh, these rich text element that I gave class RTE and here you can choose the H2 that's the element that I want to clear you can clear it here let's see this both sides and then everything works so it's a little bit of a hassle and because uh, it shows not very nice in your CMS uh, editor, it's not something that you would uh, allow your customers to do because they, if they don't know what they're doing, it will be quite a mess up. So that's why I don't like these rich text elements. And uh, maybe sometimes in uh, Webflow, it would be nice if you can make it responsive here too, but you can't. Uh, there is another solution that you uh, make a whole lot of fields. Let's see in this blog post. You see you have some fields here, but you can make this uh, a rich text element, then uh, an image field, an image field, an image field. Uh, multiple image fields won't work either because you can only nest one uh, 
you can nest only one multi-element in a collection field, not two. So that's also not a solution. So you have to make a field with a rich text element, then an image, and an image, an image, and then a rich text element, and an image, an image. And when you need them, you can use them. When you don't uh, use, uh, when you know, don't need them, you don't use them. But it's a hassle, man. It's not. It's not very. Uh, not very nice to work with. So, but in this case, I found a solution for my problem to style this and gave it a clear. And then in the blog posts here and the logos, I gave this ones all float to the left, and then it works. And then you find out how many. Uh, Line breaks you have to use because when you uh, uh, set this beneath here, then you get a real big gap on your uh, page when you look at it. So that's also not a solution. So it's not a very nice solution, but it works. And when you do it for your blog posts and uh, not for your, and you don't let customers do this, then it works. But okay. I hope uh, this was useful and you can use it. Okay, bye.